Pluto Travels discusses customer sentiments. Home countries for a lot of expats in Dubai are still not open to travel. So they are looking to go for a holiday around CIS countries, around African countries, around coastal areas, if not at least a staycation. But they are looking to move out and enjoy their life, which they used to enjoy back in 18 and 19. People are more particular about the hotel, about the property they are staying in. So they will always, uh, before even if, e even if a client who was interested in a good, decent three, four star is also checking a lot of details about the hotel and about the hygiene of the hotel. Second thing what is trending right now and what I see in people is that upgrading themselves to a higher class. Economy class passengers also look into business class flying. Business class looks into first life. So people are trying to upgrade their travel. If you talk about Europe, there are many countries which are providing visa on arrival. To start with Albania, uh, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, and some African countries like Tanzania, Seychelles. the way for tourism recovery, UNWTO unveils its recent study. The Middle East is much more uh, optimistic, so I think there are signs of optimism in the Middle East, which indicate that the rebound in the, in the region could come later still this year. Middle East much more um, robustly thinking about uh, the recovery of uh, pre-pandemic levels by 2022, then a little bit of a mix of 2023, 2022 here in Africa, and definitely Asia seeing recovery much later, um, and the Americas as well. Middle East's only virtual trade show, Gulf Travel Show, is back with its third edition. Gulf Air resumes flights to Tbilisi thrice a week. Crown Plaza Dubai Jumeirah to open soon.